Hello YouTube, February 8th, 2019, and I'm here to give a can do an update video. Um, so far I've been in the company two weeks, and out of two weeks I can definitely say that this is by far the best call center job that I have been in. Um, but before we get into my two week video update of how the job is and what to expect with this job, I want to give a little bit more insight of what to do to get hired for this job so my video interrupted on part one over a week ago I recorded the second half of it but for whatever reason my my free version of Screenmatic only had 10 seconds of the upload I don't know why as um, soon as my paycheck comes next week I'm going to actually purchase the full plan so we no longer have those types of you know F ups but this video is the highlight um what's the process called uh, the i9 verifier i've only done this for one other job and that's when i worked um at teletech but the difference with teletech versus conduit with teletech i had to print out which was you know an inconvenience because it's like who really has a printer nowadays everybody uses docusign and everything else or virtual signatures but with teletech you had to print it out so I had to go to the library load it up on the print card because you know they don't accept cash there so I had to put the coins into the card for me to print the thing out and then I had to go through the stress of having somebody um, who was not an immediate relative sign the um, verification for me with Conduin is totally different anybody can be your um, verifier um, it can be your mother it can be your sister your brother as long as it's not you so send it to somebody else email address after you fill out all your um, employment verification they're going to give you a code and that code you will send out to whoever you had signed up for so when when it goes to the verification step which is going to be like step eight when you're doing your employment online you will see the i9 verifier you're going to put in that person's name and email address and tell them in advance that they're going to receive an email. They cannot open that email. I mean, they can open that email, but they can't go to the website until three days after you have completed everything on that page. So once you complete your entire, you know, employment package and all of that, three days later, you're going to give them the code number that you were sent after you completed your packet. So after you completed everything um, on that um, website, you're going to get uh, a series of codes and you're going to give that to your i9 verifier and they're going to open it up and look over everything and they're going to verify you. And like I said, this can be your mother, your sister, your, your neighbor, your friend. It doesn't matter as long as it's not you. And then from there, um, you're going to take a picture of your ID or your passport whatever two forms of verification works for you me I use my you know state uh, my state ID and then I use my um, social security card so those are my two forms of verification you can use your passport and your social security card or any version of the two so from there you're going to upload after you, they verify you you're going to upload your two documents and that's that you're going to wait a week and then you're going to receive this huge packaging in the mail and you know due to technical reasons I can't show you the packaging because it's a dead giveaway um, I think the exception is if you are already in the hiring process with Conduit you can email me and then I can show you um, you know the packaging of what you will receive I just can't show you my monitor but I can show you the packaging and you want to hold on to the package and not the not the brown package that it comes in but when you open it there's going to be another box you going to hold on to that because if you quit the job for whatever reason or you get fired um you it would be easier to put everything back into that package and, and like I said it's going to come with your monitor your mouse your keyboard and everything is set where if you ever had to return the equipment it just goes in there nicely and then once you go to the post office um it makes things easier versus having to get something custom made from scratch because like I said if if only I can show you the packaging it makes sense why you want to keep that packaging around and it's not like it's a box it is a box but it's a, a it's a specific box just for this monitor 
and that's the only thing I can really say on that. Um, but hopefully you, you wouldn't have to leave this job no time soon. I definitely see myself doing this into the summertime. I thought that at first, I thought mm, I might be around for one or two weeks and then I might get gone. But the longer that I've been in this company, I've been in this company now for two weeks. I'm actually loving it more and more by the day. This is the first job and I hate to get political on here and I hate to get racial. But, you know, as somebody who's black and, you know, with call centers, you don't see too many advertisements with black people and let me turn my fan on it is hot y'all know i live in north carolina and it was just 40 some degrees the other day now it's 78 degrees and i got to have my ac and my fan back on in february but then it might snow next month only in north carolina so fortunately i did manage to you know side note i managed to wash my hair today if y'all wondering like why is she up on here with her bonnet that's why i the first two weeks, my schedule is like I told y'all, Sunday through Thursday from 10 o'clock in the morning to 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And then last weekend, I did not have time to wash my hair. I had to go ahead and wash my hair. It, it's been actually three weeks, and I normally don't go past two weeks. So y'all just going to have to deal with this bonnet today. But back to the topic at hand. Like I said, two weeks in the company, I'm loving it. Just, and you know from a marketer's perspective because that was my first background when I went to school I went to school uh, for my associates in marketing and when it comes to this type of work you don't see too many you know people of color of the African diaspora usually they uh, have the token you know JLo Puerto Rican or you know the very fair skinned Asian they don't show the medium tone you know Filipino or uh, you know Tahitian person they don't show you know a biracial asian they don't show no dark skinned indian no native american representation if they show a black person usually they're light skin or if it's the black chick they it's the token one with the three c hair like teletech but the thing is with teletech most of my um fellow colleagues were black but then when it came to the curriculum it was all you know that all American again, and I, like I said, it, I hate to get racial with it, but it's like they have that one token black person, the one token Asian person. Then all the curriculum is just everything white. The upper management, you don't see nothing but white faces. Your instructors, you don't see nothing but white faces, and it, it, it just gives that. Um, how can I say it? It, it just don't give you any hope if you're not white that you might not be able to climb up the ladder in the company but with this company with Conduit I was so happy to see on the very first day um, when we had to look at the video it was a gay person with pink hair um, that they had in the advertisement it was a black gentleman with dreadlocks um, light skin then there was a dark skin Ooh, and he was a sexy dark skin man um, with the last video that we saw and he was in upper management so it was nice to see that representation of various people I mean darker skin Asians lighter skin Asians older representation 40 some years old 20 some years old um, and then I looked at all the instructors there's 32 teachers and out of 32 teachers eight of them are black I seen a black I seen a couple of dark skin black women I seen uh, a young dark skinned black man, a lighter skinned black man. So to see the representation in this company in various areas from the advertisement, from the videos that they do for educational purposes to the customer scenarios of showing various black customers to showing black instructors in upper management to seeing tier two um, support and seeing mentors who are also black as well like I said it, it actually gave me hope and that's something that sadly I have not seen in any other call center before I, every time I've seen it it's always been a token black person this I do not feel like they just have you as a oh a token black worker they are actually serious and, and it's well rounded my classroom is it's 18 of us now it started off with 20 the only guy that was in our classroom, he's gone. 
I mean, the only black guy. Um, but out of 18 people, I want to say 10 of us are black women. Um, yeah, black women, two, two white females, and then the rest is guys and our instructor is white. So pretty well rounded. I mean, it's nice to see black women doing it at the upper level. I mean, it's about time. And then, like I said, the starting pay is $12 an hour um, doing training. And, you know, I'm in my second week. And next week we have our final exams. I did take my midterm and I scored a 75. And don't y'all get too worried about your girl. This was, I think, with 30 questions. And I only messed up on two because... It got twisted around like two questions were questions that mm, it, it was a potential error on the test so really I scored an 85 because that course one question I know for a fact was an error so realistically I know I scored an 80 but our final exam is going to be 60 questions so I'm able to miss up the 10 which I don't see myself missing up the 10 questions um, the curriculum has been um, very easy to learn for somebody who's never dealt with this particular technology before. We're dealing with tech support with a very specific group of, you know, technology that I can't go into, but it's something that is well known. Over 50% of the people in America have this particular um, device. I just never owned it myself. Um, and like I said, I've been able to learn how to, to do the settings and troubleshooting. We we learn how to find articles. And even though we have to pull up multiple screens and it seemed overwhelming because like I said, I'm just coming from Teletech. And it's like, oh God, here we go with this again. But this is actually far easier. I'm able to pull up the customer's information. And it's a lot more in-depth than with, you know, Teletech. And like I said, the pay is more. I also got my employment papers in um, the other day. Let me see. Do I got it over here? Yep, they sent my uh, insurance information. And I did not even... And here's another thing with this company. You can actually get insurance. I mean actual life insurance. For your children, your spouses... They can give you a ten thousand up to a fifty thousand dollar policy for literally like cents on the dollar. I, I'm really loving this company, but yeah. Oh, and you know, I just got all all subject. This video is supposed to be about the I nine verification. Here I go praising the company again, but yeah, the, pretty much this video was done within the first six minutes. Um, just make sure. You have the um, the code. Do not lose it for your I-9 verifier. They're going to open it up after three days after you complete it. You're going to be with your I-9 verifier. That way you can give them the, your social security card, your passport, or whatever two forms of verification. And then you want to be good for there. A week later, you're going to get your um, you're going to get your equipment, your monitor, your mouse, and your mouse might be wireless or it might be wired. Mine is a wired one that goes in the back of the device along with a wired keyboard. And like I said, I can't show y'all that for legal reasons. I got my packaging over there. And I've been in this company for two weeks and I hope to stay here. Like I said, next week is our final exams and this determines whether we go to bridge or not bridge is when we transition out of the classroom training and we get on the phones um so oh and another thing i'm glad that in addition to the training we're able to hear people's live calls before we get on the clinic floor as well so that was another good thing as well they didn't just toss us out there um, it was actually planned that way, but due to the fact that we, um, I, um, our IT department was a week behind on getting us on the phones, we was able to actually hear other people's calls from a trainer that's already on the floor. So that was an actual breath, um, blessing in disguise as well. So if your class is behind, that actually might work to your advantage that you get to hear phone calls end up because it's one thing to get the training on it. It's another thing to um, see it in action and learn how to navigate through the systems. And like I said, once you get into this, it's very easy. 
Because like I said, I've never touched this device, never been an owner of this device a day in my life, and I'm learning how to navigate through it. Never owned this particular um, computer system, and I'm learning how to go through the particular website because their website is exclusive to this particular brand as well. I'm used to going through, you know, my device on my HP Envy. And y'all know what, you know, internet system comes with HP Envy. This one comes with its own, you know, internet system. And I had to learn how to do that. I had to learn how to, because I'm used to clicking the start button on my, you know, computer. But there is another button that you click on this one. So a lot of learning if you never had this device before. Um, but if you have been an owner of this device, it, this is going to really be easy for you. But if you never have, you you will still learn it um, anyway. Because like I said, I had no idea how to do this. I've been doing call center and customer service work for over 10 years. And this is my first time in my life I've ever done tech support. And like I said, originally I was just going to be in here for a month, get just do a review for y'all on YouTube and this is how y'all can get the job and I was going to go back to doing my aesthetics but I've actually done fell in love with the company I don't see myself going anywhere no time soon now I'm not saying I'm going to be here for the end of the year I'm not I'm not going to fill out my you know dental insurance and stuff I'm actually going to get my own insurance um, independent of the company because I don't see myself being here the whole year and my probation for my insurance to be active, um, I wouldn't be able to use it until April the 9th. And I'm still wary if I'm going to be here until then. Because y'all know, you know, once it gets warm, I'm going to start, you know, uh, going back to my aesthetics. So, I don't know. But like I said, I definitely don't see myself going anywhere now within the past month. I definitely see myself being here for at least, I'll say three months. And then we'll give an update on if I'm going to stay longer. But like I said, if I decide to leave, it's definitely at no fault of the company at the time of making this video. Because like I said, the instructor's been wonderful. My classmates has been the best that I've ever had in a call center. I've gotten to know them as we, you know, do, get put in our groups and we get to searching the articles and stuff to find out about, you know, technical information and troubleshooting to help customers. And it's been the best that I've ever had in my life as far as call center work. And like I said, who would have thought that a tech job would have been the best call center? I, I, I'm used to just dealing with customer service, process and refunds. And now I'm troubleshooting stuff that I normally wouldn't know. I never thought that this would end up being the best job that I've had in my life outside of being a medical esthetician, of course. You know, medical aesthetics is my career, but this is by far the best job I've ever had. And like I said, the benefits, if I want to utilize having insurance, I can do that. It, it comes with professional dental, but like I said, I already got some stuff in the works. Um, that's at a better price so I'm going to pay for that separate and that way if I do leave the company I don't have to worry about that awkward transition into finding another insurance um, provider I'm still wondering if I should invest in the 401k if I'm knowing that I'm going to only be here a time for a limited period of time I don't know I think I more likely will I'll save a little bit at up front at first um, for that We'll see. But right now, y'all know I need as much money as I can get. I'm also in the process of moving. And that's one downside to this. I cannot technically move within the first 90 days because you can't request time off within your first 90 day work period. But I'm thinking that there might be the exception if you're moving on the weekend because I'm still within the same city. So I definitely know that I'm not move. It's not like moving out of state and you might be moving to a state that's, you know, not contracted by conduit so I'm wondering if I if I move during the weekend which is when I'm off I'm off on Fridays and Saturdays and my internet is already set up at the house and everything the connection is good I'm wondering if they allow me to do that if I get that pre-approved to move within those days that I'm off that way it doesn't interfere with work time at all that's the only reason why they're 
don't want you to move is because they, you can't take time off. But if I move during the days that I'm off, I don't see how that should be an interruption. As long as, you know, for security reasons, I tell them my new address is still within a state that's approved by conduit. Like I said, I'm, I'm moving and I'm still within the city of Fayetteville. Or I might move a little bit outside of my home city, but I'm still within the state of North Carolina. So that's my only, you know, hurdle that I've been dealing with is house searching. And because I don't think I can last till May. Because like I said, probation period ends for us April 9th, provided that I still employed with the company. Because here's one thing, you do have to pass your final exam to continue your employment. You can fail your midterm, which I didn't. Technically, a 75 is passing. It's a low pass. But, mm. but on the final, you definitely have to make an 80 and above. And like I said, you you have 60 questions. So out of 60 questions, I think you're able to miss like, what, 10? How many points is, you know, 60? Uh, 60 into 100. 100. Let me see, 60 divided by 100 times 50. Oh no, you can't miss 10 because that's 30 points. 60 divided by 100 times 55. That's 33. I'm doing something wrong, y'all. 100 divided by 60. Okay, times 50. Okay, there we go. So. If you miss 10 questions, that's an 83. So I guess you can't miss no more than like 11 or 12 questions in 60 questions. I had it confused, y'all. I was dividing six. I was dividing 60 by 100 instead of 100 by 60. Good thing I'm doing tech support and not darn on finances. Like I said, my background was in marketing, not accounting. So don't y'all judge me. That's what my darn on calculators for. Oh, but speaking of phones, um, they do stress do not have your phone in the same room during work hours. I mean, technically you can. It's just don't have it on your desk. So they're, they're very laissez-faire. They will tell you that it, it can't be in the same room. But what they really mean is don't have the technology on during work hours. So I work out of my bedroom. And y'all see my pictures on Instagram um, when I log off of work. But the thing is, don't ever have it during work hours when you're actually working. Have it at a designated area outside of your work desk. Same thing for my other laptop. It, it cannot be on at all. So I have my laptop off and I have it in a different section. So there is no technology on. I don't have a TV in my room at the moment. Um, I plan on getting one during payday. And it's going to be up there. But it won't be on during work hours. So that is pretty much it. Make sure you don't have technology on. Um, if you need to save notes, you're going to save it on the actual laptop and not customer information. I'm talking about your notes during class. Once you get into training, you don't ever save notes. You're save notes to the, uh, to the, the customer's account, but don't save notes on the computer. That will get you fired. Um, but during training, you will save your your notes to your Pacific pages or whatever that's on the computer. You save it to your documents, and that's pretty much it. As long as you don't have no paper, no um, laptop, no animals in the room, no children whatsoever, between your work hours, you would do good with this company. Those are the only things that would get you automatically fired on the spot is if they see that and it's like you got to be very careless for them to see that because you're not on camera all day you're only on camera when you talk so when you get in your training room don't think that you're on camera the whole eight hours no out of eight hour day i'm probably on camera for probably like 20 minutes and that's only when we're in the groups like my teacher probably sees my face probably like five minutes throughout the whole day so let that sink in out of an eight hour work day your trainer probably sees your face like for five minutes maximum when they might call on you to answer a question and you turn on your camera and your mic and you speak. I speak for like 10 seconds and I turn my camera back off. It's not required for your camera to be on during the entire day. 
Um, sometimes you might have to have your camera on during groups. Uh, our teachers laissez-faire, so we get to get away with, as long as there's not another moderator in the room, we can, you know, get away with not having our cameras on. Because at the end of the day, when we get into training, we're not, the customer is never going to see us. When we troubleshoot and we get on their uh, on their phones or whatever, they're never going to see us. So it doesn't make sense for us to always be on camera anyway. But for security reason, to make sure that you're the one working the job, they want to see your face. So that's the only reason why they want to see your face. But once you get onto the floor, you will never be required to turn on your camera, except when you're conversing with your mentor or your manager. That's the only time you would get on camera. Like I said, my manager, my um, instructor only sees me a maximum of five minutes throughout the day um, doing a whole eight hour work shift. So that is pretty much conduit in a nutshell. Um, the I-9 verification process, the two weeks, heck, I actually did the review already. I, see, like I said, I'm so passionate about this company, I end up just giving y'all my thoughts of the first two weeks at this job anyway. I was going to split this video up into two, but we, we might as well go on here to make it one, you know, half hour long video. So pretty much that is it. I'm rambling at this point. I'm enjoying my um, two days off. Like I said, Friday and Saturdays, I have off. I go back to work Sunday. And then, provided that I make it, I pass my exams next week, um, I will then go from Saturday to Wednesday. And I will be off on Thursdays and Fridays. I look so forward to it. I'm hoping that I pass this exam. Like I said, the questions are fairly easy. It's just some that mm, tricks me up. But I definitely don't see myself missing more than 10 questions. So I think I got this in the bag. I'm ready for the calls. So the next video that I would do is probably a couple weeks from now after I've gotten a couple of phone calls in. And then we'll see how that works out from there. So that is conduit in a nutshell. That's my first two weeks of, of experience working on the job. Getting to learn the equipment firsthand. Um, getting to see the calls, seeing the diverse advertisement of various, you know, black women, um, black men of all different groups. And like I said, it's not, and even with black representation, it's not Europeanized. It's like you're, the woman is not forced to assimilate and have straight hair. I see various hair textures. I see curly hair. I see kinky hair. Like I said, they had a fine, you know, black chocolate man with some dreadlocks. Um, so, dreadlocks are welcome. Your clothing, you're able to dress down. The first day, you know, I dressed up. But once I realized that we can dress down, hell, some people get on the live and have their wife, uh, you know, their tank tops on. Like, I'm, I'm not giving y'all that much comfort, honey. I, I am going to still dress up, but some people come into the room and it's like, as long as you're not naked, because like I said, you got to turn that camera on every so often. Um... As long as you're clothed, you're good. Um, I do keep it a point to keep my hair up. Uh, if y'all see me on Instagram, y'all see I've switched out to three different units during the time that I've been um, with Conduent. I haven't had my natural hair out. I've been giving it a rest. So I've been switching my units out. And hell, a couple of days I was able to be lazy and come on with my... Don't y'all judge me. And this is why I'm so glad that this darn on you know classroom is dominantly black women because how about when I had my body on that day uh, several of the girls were going through it too and say girl I got my head wrapped up today too I couldn't do it so that's another thing that I'm talking about if you're black you know culturally we go through some things at times we be straight we be trying to get up early in the morning we don't have time to do our hair some of us cramping some of us going through the time of the month. I'm going through the stress of trying to darn on finance all my pay in advance and trying to house search. I'm darn on waiting on a call back from the car lot as far as when I can go test drive this car. And, you know, hopefully I can show y'all that. Which is hard because my sister, ooh, unfortunately she's going through it at the moment. 
So I'm trying to figure out who can drive me to this car lot so I can pick up this car because y'all know my roommate, mm, not the ideal candidate, honey, to drive me down to the car lot. Her ass don't want to drive nowhere outside of damn Fayetteville. Huh? Ooh, crazy. And y'all know, speaking of that, I got a personal vlog on that coming up on my um main channel, Diva One. Y'all subscribe to that for personal stuff outside of work. But that's it, y'all. It's now a half hour. We're going to wrap this video up. Like I said, the first two weeks of this job, I'm already loving it. I'm loving the fact that if I'm sick some days and I can't be bothered with my hair, I can wrap it all up. I learned how to wrap my hair. Yeah, one day I had to bond it on, and then the next day I said, okay, Juan, you got the least darn going to look somewhat presentable. You can't just be on here with the bond. At least learn how to wrap your head up like Jada Pika Smith. And that's another thing I'm going to get y'all. I know y'all are done with me with the bonnet. So I'm going to go ahead and try to look into some turbans this paycheck as well. So I I'm going to do like Jada Pika Smith. I'm going to step my hair game up for 2019. I'm going to darn on try to find me some darn on. Um, elaborate turbans whenever I'm giving my hair my natural hair a rest in addition to uh, you know um, adding to my wig collection as well those um, those are the two things I'm going to be doing more wigs and more turbans and scarves to you know to give my hair a break but that is it y'all like comment share subscribe definitely subscribe to stay up to date with um, whether or not I'm still employed with Conduent like I said I'm hope I'm hoping I'm 90% positive I'm going to pass this test. So the only thing we have to now look out for is the calls. So look out for my final week review um, with Conduent, and then look out for how it is to take calls for the first time as a tier one support agent for Conduent. So that is it, y'all. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I will see y'all soon with more videos. Mwah.